Okay, well, here we are again, another blog post in our series, Learning by Trial and Error, where we're, all of us are taking different aspects of Drupal 8, we're learning them, we're testing them, we're seeing what they're all about, so we can show you our findings, so we can start getting ahead of the curve with Drupal 8. Drupal 8 is not ready yet. I mean, when you install it, it's pretty usable, but there's still things being changed at last minutes. We're not even in a beta phase, so that's why we're calling this Learning by Trial and Error. In this blog post, I wanted to discuss Drupal 8 as quote unquote mobile friendly or responsive, squishy, lots of terms. Mobile friendly also can kind of mean the fact that content's first and the way that things are structured. But basically, I want to talk about that. First off, I discuss how, how it happens. And basically, Drupal 8 core comes now with what is called the breakpoint module. And if you're using Drupal right out of the box, you install it, everything, it works fantastically. You can resize it, it looks good on mobile devices, it's usable, but that's using Bartik. So I, I'm not, there's been a lot of work done to make this happen and I just don't want, a site builder typically is just not gonna go in and start making everything responsive. So. Just understand that. And what I mean here is, let's go ahead and take a look at our file system. In the core folder, under themes, under Bartik, under config, under install, you'll notice that there's these files. And this is basically what is setting up the breakpoints for the breakpoint module. So you just can't turn it on and have it work. These files need to be in place. And so that's why I'm saying a theme may not provide this for Drupal 8. I don't have any examples, but down the line, someone may build a theme that just, it doesn't provide this. So you either gonna provide it yourself or you're not gonna have a responsive website. So that's, that's kind of what I was getting at. It's still fantastic that it's all in here. It's not point and clicky. We're hoping it gets that way. I'm sure some people aren't, but um, there's actually been a request to have a, a UI built for Breakpoint in Drupal 8. Um, I believe there's actually even a project page that really goes to nothing right now. So. We're just hoping for that, and that's what I kind of described in the post itself, and then I mentioned I kind of want to describe the other part that you can use a user interface for, and that is another module that comes, as we can see, I've just installed Drupal 8, that comes with this, but is not turned on by default. That is also another helpful thing in making things responsive, and that really has to do with your images. Even with breakpoints, as you start to resize the browser, images aren't they're not going to do anything. I mean, you may be able to shift positions or they may bump somewhere, but they're still going to remain large sizes, which is not responsive. So if we go under extend and we scroll down, we now have something called responsive image. It's had different names in the past. This is where we're at now. And if you see, it actually requires breakpoint module. So it does use breakpoint and I'll show you how. So let's go ahead and enable responsive image. Save our configuration. Okay, so now we've got this responsive image mappings under media. And this is where we can kind of set up different elements to make our images be responsive. And then we go and tell those in another part of the site and we'll get there. So let's go ahead and see what's in here. Responsive image mappings. And there's really not much here because we haven't set anything up. But here's where we're allowed to um, set some things up. We can add a responsive image mapping. So let's go ahead and click on that. Let's give this a name. Um, this is basically so you can, because you're going to build multiples of these because you want your images to probably look differently at different breakpoints and two different things. The breakpoint group is that set of files that I showed you. And depending on if you have multiple themes, like if you see our toolbar, and our Bartik both have breakpoint groups. And that's, we're using Bartik right now, so let's go ahead and use that. Let's just go ahead and call this our test. Let's go ahead and hit save. And now here's all of these settings that we're seeing here are coming from those files. So there, here's where responsive image works with breakpoint. So basically we can set that at the mobile, look what we've got here. We can choose image styles that happen at different breakpoints. So there's where we're starting to get some pretty cool stuff that we can do in the UI and that responsive image, along with image styles, does for us. We're going to just use the ones that are basically come with Drupal, but if you knew you wanted different looks for your images and different sizes, create a bunch of different image styles and start applying those to your actual mapping 
for this particular one. So this is mobile. We probably want this to be a thumbnail. If it's a narrow, we'll go ahead and make it medium. And if it's wide, we will just make it large. Just go ahead and click Save. So how do we use this? That's great. Again, we're not there. This isn't done. It's not automatic. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that this mapping gets used somewhere. And it might not be, we might, you might not want to apply this mapping to every image. You have to start thinking where and how you want to do this, how you want to set it up. Site builders, we've got a lot to do this time around. It's great. Let's go ahead and let's go to structure, content types. And let's just go ahead and use the content type of article because we know it has an image. And what we want to do is we want to manage the display of this image. How's it going to look? So if we notice right now, image is just using the image format, but now we have responsive image. Perfect. Let's go ahead and click on our settings. Here we can choose which mapping we want for this particular image. So for different content types, you can have different mappings. And that's kind of where you start getting into being able to set everything up very, very, very custom. So basically right here, I don't have anything else but the test one that I set up. We can give a fallback image style or have it be automatic, but let's just uh, say large is our fallback and this is pretty much what we want. So let's go ahead and update this. Let's go ahead and add some content. See how this works. Add content, add an article. Just give this test, test. Let's choose an image. So we'll go to pictures, choose this great looking unicorn. We're gonna save and publish this. All right, so now we're viewing our content and we see that it is using the image style because we are in the wide setting. Okay, so if we start resizing our window, we should start seeing the responsive image module do its job where I set those different breakpoints. It should start using those different image styles. There we go. So now we've gone from th the thumb all the way up to wide. And that's basically it. So yes, Drupal 8, is mobile friendly, it's responsive, but it's just not magic. Site builders, we've got some work to do. If you are building a theme, you got some development work to do, but as everything I've been discovering while doing this blog series, Drupal 8 is looking great.